starting on this screen just to uh, talk about a couple of things that are happening in the game and a lot of comments about it over the last couple videos. I had to pre-record a few of them uh, for the weekend, so uh, I wasn't able to address anything um, by voice. So here I am. Uh, really quickly, Egypt was obviously a concern because it was in the red, even though we had a satellite. And honestly, I had forgotten about that mechanic. I thought, oh, satellite, we're fine, but we wouldn't have been fine. Uh, we apparently had a 50% chance right to lower panic at the end of the month if you have a satellite there. So there was a potential to save Egypt. But what really saved us was just shoot shooting down that satellite or that UFO, my apologies, at the end of the last episode to get us to where we are right now. So because that popped in Egypt, I mean, it could only have popped in Brazil or Egypt. And I think we had a Brazil one, the first one, right? So that makes sense. Uh, but not something that I was considering totally great that that's the case. And now we can save Africa. So and everyone should be happy because based on the previous decision that I made on those abduction sites, uh, choosing to go for the sniper versus some of the other options, there would have been a more advantageous thing to choose um, to lower panic in the surrounding countries within the same continent. So... Anyways, it all worked out, and I hope that we're all on the same page there now. Okay, <sighs> I am nervous. I am nervous. This UFO crash site, it's uh, unidentified. I think it's... I th Hold on. Yeah, so we actually had more details on it uh, before I loaded in today, and it was a medium class size, so I don't know why that's not there now, but whatever. <laughs> Danielle, Ryan, Leitonen, Kainoa, and Lee. So we've got laser rifles on Kainoa and Ryan, regular rifles on Danielle and Lee, and hopefully we get some alloys out of this. We got Leighton here to give us a little bit of action, and uh, no heavies. Not because I don't want them, because I can't have them. They are all injured, shockingly. Let's rock and roll. I am excited. By the time you see this, you will have seen uh, that I started the Frostpunk 2 beta on the channel, and uh, dudes, that game is so, so cool. So if people down. are into that, I might do uh, like a mini-series of that, because it's just a beta. And then I got something else coming. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian Soon. border. That's gonna be sick. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. You don't say. Go, go, go. I'm putting all of my hopes and dreams into Leighton. It's a great sniper name. Just everything about it's incredible. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Look, we got six health on someone. How nice is that? Um, I don't know if this technically counts as high ground. It'd be really cool if they had an indicator for, like, when damn good ground was active. Also, people were saying that, uh, you should see that little movement line, but, uh, we're not seeing it. it might be some mod thing. It's not a big deal, honestly. Not a big deal to me. Okay. Power Rangers. Forward. Probably shouldn't be leading with the baby. The big four health there, but it worked out. And we do have a little bit of map edge to play with here, so we'll try to stick to that until we find something. People were pointing out as well that you can listen to the sounds that it makes and it'll indicate which uh, enemies it is. I actually didn't know that, which is uh, pretty cool. That is pretty, pretty cool. Position confirmed. Nothing. Affirmative. Bien, commandant. Look out. You don't have a way to get over there. Let's just put you on this tree. Hello. That's, I, I felt like I didn't hear a sound, okay? I was listening for it. Maybe these guys don't make a sound. 
I'm not surprised we missed with the shotgun. Not at all. Not at all. But we got a couple others that could take shots. Or not. Or not. Okay. I feel like when we have just Seekers, literally the best thing to do is to just overwatch all of this. Right? That is a bit bizarre that Danielle took that shot, but nobody... Or, uh, sorry, Lee took that shot, but nobody else did. Could be something with that sequential Overwatch mod. But the way it's supposed to work is that Overwatch shots start from the closest. Good shot. You're not missing. I jinxed it. I'm not going to talk. No more talking. The barrel was basically inside his mouth, dude. Now what about the other one, though? On the cemetery, we saw that one that uh, basically revealed in... Uh, oh. Okay, I thought that was like a dead spot. See how here? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, they revealed and then shot at us from above, which was slightly scary. I'm tempted to move up a little bit, but also like, maybe I should just play it cool here and kill this thing. I should have switched to the laser pistol there. Wait, who has the laser pistol? Oh, right here. Laser pistol. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, for you, we're gonna keep you on shotgun. I'm gonna see if this thing shows its face again. Hello! Layton and don't worry, the squad has you. Ryan! Love it! I'm definitely not going for meld here, okay? Let's get all the reloads. And then we move. That was tight. That was tight. Toy. Toy like a toyga. Kainoa. Lead us to victory. She's got lightning reflexes now. Which I will 100% remember. I'm just gonna tuck you up there to get you settled. Bien, commandant. Ryan, Danielle, in behind. Sounds like over here. That sounded like sectoids. The whole vibe of, like, going into missions in XCOM Enemy Unknown or, or Enemy Within here, it feels... A lot scarier. And I kind of like that tension. Jubei's like, I want to be behind, but not that far behind. Ooh, that's a big jump, but I'm going for it. There's potentially... This thing blocking us could be a bit of a problem. So I don't want to get too crazy, because I want to check over here before we progress, just to make sure that we don't get flanked by something. But I'm not going to do that on the end of our turn. Yeah, I'm guessing we have something right here. Let's get Kainoa to... Oh, we actually don't have a way to get up there. Okay. Lee? Ah, uh, yep. Okay. They're on. Leitonen has a shot. Only 49% because of the full cover. Although, not terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. 
Um, I could just pull Lee back. And then set whoops, and then set up some overwatches. Let's do this. I'm gonna bring Ariel here. Baby back here. Kainoa is gonna come up and overwatch. And Lee. I mean, this guy, I guess, could come up here and become a bit of a problem. I'll put her over here, out of sight. And then we're going to overwatch everybody here. I don't think these guys in the back are going to be a problem. Or are going to be threatened, I don't think. Wow, what a weird position to overwatch in. Is our sniper going to see this? Oh, you know what? Not not a bad thing getting rid of that tree. He might have been going there for cover. Yeah, he was. Ooh, he shot at my rookie. Well, you know, not my rookie, but whatever. Um, okay. This guy's out in the open. This guy's out in the open. How does Leighton and... Oh, that... How do you not have a... How do you not see that? You see it from there. You see it from not there either. Not there. Yeah, I... I, I yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Not the end of the world. Ryan's shot from here isn't bad. Thing is, uh, I do need to get rid of this. We have lightning reflexes, though. So I could... I could try to come down here for the flank shot, but that is very risky. Um... But what I could do... Problem is, I can't come to this log, right? Because then if we don't kill this guy, he comes up and he flanks me, no prob. The fact that Leighton can't see that guy is a problem. Because I feel like I'm going to have to go for that and not go for his mind meld, buddy. This is a pretty good chance from Ryan, though. Never mind. It's a horrible chance. Okay, 70s, don't matter, we know that. I don't know why I would be thinking any differently at this stage of the game. Oh, just realized too, Kainoa's the one with the running gun, not the other one. Yikes, that could have been pretty terrible. Thankfully it's not. Come on, there we go. Seven. Now, even if this lands, it doesn't kill, and the chances of me landing this, pretty slim. So, what I'm going to encourage him to do is run towards me. I'm going to hunker down. See if they mine merge from here again. Oh, he moved up a bit. Okay. So, I have to assume that's an overwatch. Yes. But, now... Now I could get right in here. Set him up, knock him down. Ten four. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh my god, that's a butt pucker up right there. It's, it's really interesting to me how every XCOM campaign kind of has its own DNA and its own feel. Like, from at least from my perspective, this campaign has, has focused primarily on our heavies, just by necessity. That's just what we got, and we've been getting a lot of them, and obviously they have a lot of firepower. Um, but then also just the running gun aspect is so strong because of absolutely critical that if you can get in and flank somebody like you're gonna do it it's it's really fun and it's uh 
It wasn't something, honestly, that I was considering with the absolutely critical being turned on. But obviously because it is, it's like, lends itself so well. Okay. Let's take a peek here. All the meld is gone. Understandable. This is actually where I'd like Leighton in to be, I think. Okay, so let's move you here. Leighton in, go up. Oh, wait. Okay, you can get there. Danielle. Uh, sure. And Ryan, I'm gonna bring you back here as well. Go, Ryan. Go, go, go. So far, Leighton's taken one shot and whiffed it at close range. I mean, I get why, but, you know, still. Thematically, you're like, dude, really? I'm gonna just reload these guys right now. We'll take a little overwatch here. And, uh... Go laser pistol. Okay. That's affirmative. Like that. I like that cover position. Good. Now Lee and the others can advance. And the I have so much problems with that name, Danielle, or Dan Daniel. I'm probably just gonna say Ariel, but I'll probably try to pronounce it badly every time. Yeah, there's a UFO entrance. Ooh, hello. Interesting. 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 Show yourselves. It was silent, so maybe more of those, uh... Seekers? Potentially? Now one thing, okay, yeah, there we go. One thing for us to be thinking about as we progressed through here is that maybe I trigger something inside there, which, oh, did something reveal? Nope. Okay, so same idea though, right? You want everybody to be in range of each other? I am concerned about one revealing and then shooting from high ground and just be somebody being flanked because I, I don't think there's a way I can address that necessarily. Okay, team, let's let's dial it in. It just it hurts to watch. It just hurts to watch. This is not going to be enough damage, even if it does land. Wow! Guys. Okay, so... Yeah. Well... Not the end of the world, but not great. Jesus. 69%, so that's pretty not awesome. That, that, just that 20% defense from them is insane. And then if they're flying, it's even worse. Oh, he's critting. Oh, God. My good, he killed it. He killed it. Okay, you're catching breath, so you have to stay. If he shows close range... I just realized they could just go for Jubei here. Okay. So I'm actually going to move him in. Reload. Overwatch. 
Where are you, buddy? There it is. They have it out for our sniper. Maybe we'll land one of these now. There you go. There you go. Where was that last time? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, should I heal that? Probably. We'll do the heal and then we'll progress inwards. I'll put our sniper in full cover. Hope that all the sight lines work. Slow and methodical until we get some armor and weapons and then we can be a little bit more aggressive. Can't really go to any of these spots because no cover for people. So we'll work over top of this, I guess. And actually, looking inside here, are these open? Yeah, okay, there are some open walls there. So this could theoretically become a problem. I might have to go to there, or maybe even this tree. Looks like it might be decent for Leitonin, just to have a good field of view for everything. Should be on the laser pistol as well, with, uh, our assault. Okay, good. And Kainoa. Position confirmed. Okay, we're in a little bit of a mini dead zone here, but as long as we don't trigger anything crazy, this should be fine. Do I just go crazy? I mean, what's the alternative here? I'm on the move. Okay. I'm happy with that. Look out. Before we progress inside with everybody, I'm going to want Jubei to come in. We have action right around that wall, it seems like. So if he comes here, this drops. He has access to this. If he comes here, yeah. So this room is definitely going to be a problem. Um, but how do I address that with my sniper? Kind of a tough call. Put him here. And then what we could do, we could position some people over here. On my way. Potentially we could trigger something here, but we're getting the, the sounds coming from that side. So I'd be surprised if they're not in this back section. But we could flank with some of the run and gun. So... C'est parti! Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, frick. <laughs> this always happens to me. All right. So maybe back here. That's, that's fine because... I can put Leighton in right into full cover. Give him that heavy treatment, you know? Ten four. So, Ariel... 
Affirmative. With the run and gun there. Ryan on full cover two to maximize the shot potential. And then Lee. Turn on Tavix. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Right around here. But they're quiet. Interesting. Very, very interesting that this is all open. Huh. On my way. Let's take a peek. What the frick? Maybe right back here then? This is getting a little bit creepy. I really hope I don't get flanked by something outside. That could backfire. I'm curious how many of you... This is just a curious thing. Um, how many of you, when I'm doing these Overwatch creeps and we're, we're having trouble finding enemies, how many of you fast forward? Let me know if you're one of those. I'm, I'm, it's not a bad thing, I'm just curious. Surprise! There we go. He's isolated. We should have this. We should have this. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Yeah. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Don't worry about that. Um, who should get this? So you got a promotion there. Danielle. Baby has a promotion. Uh, Leitinen would be nice. So Lee probably just kills this straight up. And here we would need a mega crit. Devils. Got it. You nailed it, Commander. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm always expecting so many more enemies right now. It's crazy. That was that was very clean, guys. No heavies. Who needs them? Heavies, worst worst unit in the game. We don't even we don't need to use heavies anymore. In fact, I'm just gonna dismiss them all. Because who needs them? Clearly. That's nice to see. That is nice to see. Okay, Lee. Um Man, this is cool. So like in that situation, I, I didn't need to use the running gun to get in close. The first standard shot made within four tiles does not cost an action. Like, that's so nice. I'm going to try this, okay? I'm going to try it. I just don't know how often I'm going to be able to use it. I've talked about it before. Flush is great, but rapid fire is very good. Especially with absolutely critical. Again, didn't really think about that because you will get double crits. And, like, with these guys, I want to be right up next to them anyways. Oh, Kainoa did get hit. I forgot about that. Got that uh, Seeker attack. But I love Flush. Flush is really nice too, but I'm going to take Rapid Fire. And Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Look, both of these are great. But right now, I think taking the extra med kits, pretty, pretty clutch. Illyrium, Alloys, Fragments. Oh, look at dudes. We got... Whoa. Whoa. That is a lot. Two full computers, one full power source, two damaged, and one damaged power source. 81 alloys. We like, what a, what a boon. If you feel any soldiers merit an award. What a boon for us. I don't need to sell those either. Because we need to research them. Commander, we've what metals am I on? Casualties and haven't found Hide behind things bravery? We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Let's give it to Lee. Because Lee also just got promoted, so that's sick and very timely. You deserve it. 
You deserve it, Lee. Keep it up. Uh, Council Medal of Honor. Assign. Plus one aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier deaths up to a maximum of 10. Is that apply retroactively? Plus 10 aim and crit chance of not within 7 tiles of an allied unit? This is the sniper badge. Sniper badge. Awarded to anyone that becomes a sniper. <laughs> Let's go. The other one's good too, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so as I explained at the beginning of the video. Oh, okay. L look at that. So I didn't know this, but shooting down the UFO itself gets you a panic reduction and then completing the mission reduces it again. So that's now all the panic, <laughs> literally and figuratively, and in the comments about Africa, we're fine. We're good. We're going to lock in Africa and we're going to be stoked about it. Um, I just need to, man, we still have like, we still, we still have 12 days in the month, man. This I appreciate is crazy. your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Okay. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. We'll get another one of those. Um, I maybe I shouldn't even have done that until we know who we're taking out, but we need people to get healed So I need a bit of time here This would be nice too This is obviously very important to us, but impossible right now How is my How's this looking? Do I build this now? I, I, I have insufficient funds, but I could make it happen. I don't like. Okay, here's the problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pay maintenance on it, which sucks. But I'm gonna have to pay maintenance on it eventually. So, whatever. Uh, I could, I guess, time it. Let me think about this. I could time it. It's gonna take five days to build. So when we got like four days left in the month, I could start building the access lift so that when our money comes in, then I can start the other projects, right? Or I could start it now, and then I could start excavating a little bit sooner with the extra money coming in so that I can actually build stuff sooner. Maybe that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's go gray market. Let's sell a sectoid corpse. And you, don't panic because of our... If you're looking at my monthly income here, don't worry because we haven't launched any satellites, right? So that's going to impact our next month's income. Commander, there's a priority one transmission like, coming dudes, from the council. I, like, let, let, let the team heal. Let the team heal. Friends in low places. Oh, here we go. This is, um... This is, uh... Zhang, I believe... Is he not like a, a heavy unit from like the Triads or X Exalt or something like that? Member of the Triad, yeah, criminal organization has reached out to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly allegedly has in his possession a piece of unique technology. Anytime I see allegedly, I think of um, that Canadian TV show called. <sighs> one second, Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny is what I'm thinking of. Uh, we'll need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. So, scientists, engineers, and 200 bucks. Love that. And I think... I think Zhang is a heavy unit. And he might even be active in the mission. I don't recall 100%. And I think it's going to be in a cemetery. But Excellent. that could change, too. I don't know. We look forward yeah, to exactly. Your progress. Okay. Now... Oh, God. This is... Look at all this. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is scary business now. Um, the good news is we're going to get somebody else in here. And it's going to be Paul Orion. So let me get a name and uh, I'll come back to you. Meet Luna Welsher, everybody. This is her. She likes the color red. 
Prior to the invasion, she specialized in threat assessment and geopolitical analysis, earning accolades for her ability to predict potential conflicts. XCOM recruited her due to her exceptional strategic acumen and her capacity to analyze enemy movements and tactics. Despite lacking combat experience, Luna's keen intellect and problem-solving capabilities made her an invaluable asset to the team. Her transition from behind-the-scenes analysis to frontline soldier was seamless, so she applied her an analytical mindset to devise effective strategies in the face of extraterrestrial threats. Sounds like you're going to do well here. And if I could, I'm willing to, let's place some bets, will you, in the comments? What's your bet on what her class is going to be? I'm going to bet Sniper. I don't know. I have an inkling because we haven't seen one promoted to Sniper since we don't talk about him anymore. But we all, we all remember. Now, I also have some nicknames to update, so one second. Sweet, so uh, Alicia Lee's nickname is now Watcher, and I, I love that. I think that's a very cool call sign. We also unlocked it on Kainoa, and hers is Tita. Halia Tita Kainoa. What a beautiful name, by the way. I love that. I would name my kid Halia, or Kainoa, or Tita. All of them are great. Very, very cool. So I guess this is our squad, but how are we going to load them out? Well, let me tell you, we are going to load them out with a bunch of lasers. So make items available. Baby's got the first aid kit. Lasers there. Lasers there. Uh, baby's got lasers already. And then what we'll do is we will make some more lasers. Lasers. I might feel bad selling some of this Illyrium stuff, but like... Need a bit more. Let's do that. And I'll make a couple more of those too. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Okay, Chun, you're very lucky that you're getting a rifle, laser rifle. That is a big honor as a rookie. So enjoy that. Don't let us down. And then should I get one more? I can, so I should. I think it's eight. Okay. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. There we go, guys. Uh, Chun, Lee, Leitonen, Ryan, Danielle. We got three grenades. We've got a sniper with a scope. And he's got that metal now, so if we keep him further back from the team or seven tiles away, lone wolf style, then he's going to be more effective. We've got uh, triple med kits on her. Very nice. And uh, everybody else, he... I mean, we got to do what we got to do. We have some smoke. We have one assault move and uh, tune. So, yeah, it could be tough, but we'll do our best. See you next time. Bye for now.